Lord have mercy, boys and girls. The world is coming to an end. Another day, another damn fire. What is going on in this universe we have found ourselves in? It seems like the world is just collapsing upon itself. What you're seeing right here is a, pic a video of the streets of Ireland. So my brothers up in Northern Ireland or Southern Ireland, all around in Ireland, they are fighting back for their homeland. Why, you ask? Well, the other day, a, a knife attack happened in Ireland's capital where young children and a woman and were stabbed seriously hurt and basically the police haven't done a right lot about it ireland being the strong independent country that they are felt it was unacceptable what was happening to their country to their land in terms of the immigration and what was occurring obviously what they've done is very wrong however the the problem now is that the media are calling them far right which is a funny thing to me would you call these people far right i mean all they want is to have a safe home and i i guess the problem that they're they're having is that they are letting people in to their country who are causing them harm in there and i know don't blame everyone for a small minority of the population but unfortunately that's not how life works there are problems in society and letting these people in they feel is the wrong decision as they are now fighting back causing scenes violence has erupted on the streets of dublin following a stabbing attack outside a school that injured five people including three children more than 400 riot police have been called in as protesters torched cars and property and hurled objects. We have a complete lunatic hooligan faction uh, driven by far-right uh, ideology and also then this disruptive tendency here and engaged then in serious violence. A man in his 50s who was or, was seriously injured is a person of interest in the police investigation. Shocking scenes we are he's looking at here. Absolutely horrible. I send a lot of respect and my thoughts are towards the Irish people. And I hope that if you are there, you are staying safe and staying out of trouble, more importantly. Let's get something straight. Setting fire to things, destroying property, hurting people is not the right answer. Whatever your political views are, I understand that these people are troubled because they are allowing lots of people into the country to stay in these hotels and a lot of them have different ideologies and different beliefs and these different beliefs are causing certain individuals to do attacks not every very minor you know a very small number of individuals however unfortunately because of the media and the news reporting these things we only ever seen the bad don't we we ever only hear about the bad stuff that happens at a b and c we never hear the good because there isn't a right lot of good let's be bloody real let's be honest with ourselves there isn't a right lot of good at the moment in our world humanity is crumbling each day there is a new problem i mean as you can see from the video here they're attacking the police throwing fireworks at them and the police officers here are just here to do their job it's truly shocking behavior simply because i uh, i mean i'm in shock what what because the, the problem is the media now have called them more far right and you know just because they're protecting their home from people who have different ideologies doesn't make them far right yes maybe what they're doing is slightly extreme but a far right to me is you no know, nazism things like that uh, you you know becoming being a nazi having them sort of beliefs these people don't hate black people they don't hate any you know other people to irish all they hate is that their country is now changed and is becoming unsafe for them to live in is what they see you know people are getting stabbed children teachers not even the schools are safe and then the police are useless and aren't doing anything about it it's truly heartbreaking to see one of the first countries to do this where's next they're not the first and they won't be the last seeing this video there's people everywhere guarding the streets there's a lot of breaking of shop windows to steal things getting in places they don't belong lots of people that are taken to the streets to fight back against the police and obviously what was going on my opinion I'm sure you're all very interested. Well, firstly, this is the Irish people's problem. My thoughts and views don't mean anything, and they shouldn't mean anything. However, one thing I would like to say is this is not going to solve anything. Burning cars, burning buildings, destroying trains, ETC. Not going to cause any, any solutions. Unfortunately, there are parts in the world, places in the world, that are going through tough times, such as wars, famine, what was that? famine, environmental issues like, you know, hurricane, floods, volcano eruptions, whatever it might be. And countries are obliged and should help these other countries in times of peril they should offer them shelter food clothes whatever it might be an opportunity to make their life better i agree the problem is when you let so many people in is you are letting other ideologies in that do not l agree or do not align with yours and the irish people are very strong and are very patriotic i remember once i said to a, an irishman oh you're off back to the uk and he said no i'm off back to ireland that's the type of people they are they are not interested 
interested in other matters other than themselves. They are Ireland and they are Irish and they are proud and so they should be. So when they are attacked and their home is attacked and is felt under threat, they too attack back. I mean, look at the history. I don't need to go into the IRA, things like that. The UK were obviously at fault. England was obviously at fault for that. However, they, they fought back and rightly so. The problem is now they are attacking people who have nothing to do with it. The police don't make the laws here. Burning a police car does nothing. Taxes will be raised slightly. Burning a bus does nothing. This is truly just a show of power and I think a bit of fun. Humans love chaos and we love drama. It is in our DNA. That's why the Keeping Up With The Kardashians is one of the most popular shows in the world for the sake of us, even though it's the shittest show in the world. Look at the peoples on the streets in this video. Look at everyone standing together, uniting, fighting the police. This is wrong. Sh you should be standing together to fight back against other threats, other problems in society. Most foreign people don't, aren't, well, all foreign people aren't bad, really. There is there's only a couple, a bad egg every million who ruin it. And then you're blaming the whole population, the whole group of individuals for these mistakes. And I do it, you do it, everyone does it. You have one bad encounter with someone in like, fuck them, fuck you lot. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not being racist, it's not being rude. It's just because you've had personal experiences. Like as a child, when you have personal experiences, they make you who you are when you're older. It's sad to see what's going on in Ireland, but I think everyone can agree it's no surprise. This is going to start happening all over the world. People have had enough. Co COVID kept us in our homes, gave us a vaccine we didn't need, gave us everything that we didn't need and now we are stuck here in a almost like a freeze frame, a pause in time. No one quite knows what's going on, everyone's unsettled, there's so many wars, so many dangerous places and dangerous things going on in the world and it, it's truly a chaotic place but blaming people who have come to your country for shelter and for a better life is not on, it's not right and it's not the right answer. We should be grouping together as a country just if you're Irish, English, American, from Chile, Argentinian, Brazilian, whatever you may be in. Nice rap. Please, just look at, out for each other out there, guys. It's a scary time and we need to band together and stay with each other. Anyway, thank you for watching. Adios.